lines will shape up. They'll be playing with a 4-4-2 formation and it's much the same faces that we have seen over the last couple of weeks. Spirits, Peter Harrison between the goal, between the sticks, Franson, Gordon, McPherson in and around. There's Duan, Odin, Samuels who were recently brought in from Dumble Holding. They have the spine of the defence and they have made a big difference. Jeremy Nelson, their experienced man, is there in the middle of the park in front of them. And Tariq Wilson and Jason Wright will do the business up front for this Malines team. Johnny Fleming, it's good to see him um, staying fit. He'll be in the wide areas. They're coached by Jermaine Thomas. And he has had a good string of results of recent. Thomas, a win and a draw in his last two games. And hoping to provide more against this Portmore team. I think it will be a very close match between these two. And when you look at this Portmore lineup, a couple of players coming in, yes, but their main goal scorer, as you will see, out due to injury in Siobhan Walsh. An eight-goal man so far this season as they go through their last words of prayer. The Portmore team, their captain is back in night. But yeah, as you can see, some business done in the transfer market. Stephen Barnett is here on a full transfer from Dumble Holding. Still yet to score this season though, Barnett, but had a seven goal season last time out. Let's see how he does it. What started out to be a slow game for Stefan Duar, as we look at the full match highlights, would turn out to be a real heavy battle between these two. More lines in their full blue. Lovely strike from some distance from Wilson. Swerved at the last moment and was kept out by Williams. Malines always look dangerous when they're coming forward. Wilson with the strike just wide in the first half. Then Portmore drilling that one towards the back for Stephen Young, who's so good in the air. Three goals in four games for Stephen Young. Couldn't get a done target. Clayton Peck providing for Marshall. This is the best chance of the first half. Marshall to Barnett, and he should have finished that Stephen Barnett. I think he should have just gone with the head. The chest finish so much harder and a chance missed for Portmore. You just wonder if it was going to be one of those days for them. And then this into the second half and Jason Wright. Intelligent run, intelligent finish. Great ball from Enrique Gordon who picked up the assist. And Wright had his sixth of the season. 56 minutes down and Malines were one goal ahead. It wouldn't stay for long. First to the heaven. To the heavens, Portmore almost converting right away. Stephen Young, it came off the upright as well as the crossbar. They didn't clear properly, and then Stephen Young with a strike that was blocked by Harrison. And almost within that same play, this happened. Alex Marshall with the dink over the top. He saw the run of Jamar Morrison, and that was a beautiful finish by the Portmore number 15. Just redirecting the ball a subtle touch but enough to beat Harrison had the dive out but was beaten Harrison it was one all after 59 minutes Portmore right back into it and then they took the advantage they carried it they took the fight to Malines Stephen Barnett eager to get his first goal of the season determined to get past Odin Samuels and that he did, the stronger of the two. Harrison, no chance. He was sprawled out on the ground and Barnett giving Portmore the two, one advantage and his first goal in a Portmore shirt. Gets the hook from his head coach, Peter Williams, Philip Williams. What he didn't know was that Malines had this kind of fight. This should have been another goal for Jason right there. He orchestrated the move right. The pass from McPherson and then an intelligent by play with himself and Wilson but just couldn't get it done. Then Wright providing that for Dennis who had the strike on target was well saved. Some real moments it, were from, it was from a line. And then this again. Dennis into the box. It was a dive from Dennis. But Stefan Duar he bought it. Blowing for a penalty. And Wright made no mistake. They should have had a penalty earlier. And Jason Wright calmly converting for 2-2. Two, two. A smile on the face of Peter Higgins. A point for Malines. And Portmore will look at that as two points dropped. 
in their search to get on top of the table yet again. Eleven shots on target from a line. Six shots on target from a line from eleven attempts. Five on target for Portmore from eight. It was a busy second half for Malines United and a busy afternoon for Stefan Dua who had to show four yellow cards as there were 24 fouls in the piece. Four saves from Williams, three from Harrison and the majority of the possession for Portmore but it's all square after 90 minutes. Malines United two, Portmore United two. DJ Williams is with our man of the match, none other than the priest, the hero for Malines, Jason Wright. Yeah, today's man of the match, Jason Wright. You got two goals. I'm sure you're wishing you think you got three. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But it's uh, ins and outs of the game. You know, you, you score some, you miss some. But um, the most important thing, we came away with a point um, against a very good team. I know you're a leader in this team. You're the captain. And over the past couple of weeks, they've been significantly, they've been a, there's been a significant improvement in the team's performances. I'm sure you're very proud of, proud of that. Yeah, definitely. I know. I know. A lot of credit goes to the, the coaching staff. Um, they have come and instill a lot of discipline and structure to the group, and I know it's paying off. I know I have to ask you a personal question now. You, you have seven goals in the league now, not too far off from the top score. Is that something that you have your eye on? A long season, man. Long season. We have many more games to go. Um, but definitely, um, it, it's, a, it's a joy to be on the score sheet, and I hope um, in coming weeks I can be on the score sheets again. All right, great performance today and best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much.